What we're saying, people, welcome back again to another video. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, in the last video that I did uh, with the diagnostics and the giveaway, 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 if I haven't responded to people, don't take it the wrong way. It's not I can't be asked. It's just I don't want to comment on it. And then the way I generate the winner through the comments, then I keep getting or I get picked all the time because it makes the process long. That's why I haven't commented on anyone's video. But I appreciate everyone's comments and stuff. Um, so yeah, well, I shall be picking that winner on the Saturday, the twenty sixth, and I'll be going live at six, and then I'll probably do it sort of. Uh, about half six ish, half an hour, give people half an hour or so to get online. So, yeah, so in this video, we've got um, Euro 6 DAF CF85 as usual. <laughs> uh, we've got engine malfunction on this, and I've also got stiff steering on this. It's very notchy, sort of going around. They are very, we've done a lot of them with um, steering shafts. So, we're going to be having a look at that and then. Potentially fit the steering shaft, so we'll go all fitting out what we need. But yeah, I hope you're all keeping well, and I hope you enjoy this video. Right, so we're going to do diagnostics, and it won't read anything. So I'm going to have to take the bloody cover off the where the diagnostic plug is to have a look at that to make sure there's no pins come out or anything out. They're common as anything when when it gets rammed in and or whatever. So let's uh, have a look at that and then um, find out why we can't connect to it. So this is where it starts. Get that cover out of the way. We've got one, two, out of there. three, four, Allen key bolts. Just check the plug's not pins, not bent. No, that one's tight, you better. Yeah, I'm going to try and do with this filming now is add more bits in where maybe things don't go right and everything like that. So, because not every job goes smoothly. Obviously, I sometimes I make it look go smoothly, but these things happen. So, I'm going to get the cover off and then we'll have a look at the plug behind first. So, if you ever need to get these OBD plugs out, I've got a flat blade screwdriver here. Let's push that clip up. Or break it like that. Whatever you want to do. So, yeah, let's have a look at the pins on the back first. So, I've had a look at the pins on the back. There's one there. That's, looks like someone's tried to pin and wasn't needed. I'll check it with another um, truck. And look at an old picture we had. And they all look like where they need to be. So, I'm just gonna, two seconds. Sometimes it's good just to pull these out and then push the plug on just to make sure no pins come out. Uh, the yellow one wasn't great, so I've pushed everything back. So let's see now and see if it connects. So I'm gonna have to leave the diagnostics bit for a while because it's taken a bit of time. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the steering shaft out and we'll show you how to do that and where we start. So now we've got it stripped. It's a 16 mil nut here, 17 mil bolt. When you um, fit the new one on, easy to line up. And that's where it's got to go. So we have one, two, three, four torque bolts there. We've got to take up, and then we'll get the cab over, and I'll show you the rest of that. So there's our union. <coughs> 70 mil bolt there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo that and then knock this up. So I'll probably time lapse that bit there. Get the shaft out and I'll show you where it goes tight. Stiff shaft. So 
so up and down we're fine that way ain't moving for shit not moving at all so we're okay that way see you the other way so yep there's a the fault with it let's uh, get the new one out and start fitting it so we noticed i'll say we, we can't move that that way this one we can move let's just take that off there sit that on that remember to mark it on the box where it goes um so yeah remember your line there goes in line with that and box there i just marked it on the gearbox where the bolt goes through so let's get the new one fitted so if you look around here there's my mark just here so what i'm going to do is line it up Right, looks bang on. So now we've got it somewhere in. We'll just give it a make sure it's home. Bolt through. I'm going to do that right up yet. I'm going to get the top getting all that lined up, so I'll show you that next. So because it's free, it makes it a lot easier. There's our mark. We'll pull it up. So I'm going to do this one-handed. There. The two secs. So there we are, lined up. We've got a pinch bolt in now, do everything up. And then we'll refit that as well. So that's the top one done. It's hard to balance this. But I'm gonna get that one done up. So remember, for the nut, 16 mil and a 17 for the bolt. So I've got all the shaft bolted up, all our switches for the um, adjustable steering. So let's get that shitty cover back on and get the rest of the paneling back on and then we need to find out why we cannot connect the gel test on this truck but yeah steering job not too bad to do Fair, I moaned about that cowling, but I made that look quite easy. So, pretty simple. T20 for these screws. 16 and 17 mil for the shafts you'll need. Hammer and a bar to take it off, knock it off. Uh, I think T30 for the four on the floor. So yeah, not a bad job, but common on these DAF CF85s. Stiff shaft. So be careful of your stiff shafts, okay? So let's have a look into why I can't take this gel test and try and find out this exhaust emissions fault. So, you join me with the injectors. So, I showed you all this before. Let me just turn this bloody torch. Where's the fucking button? There. So yeah, uh, we have one clip here that holds, just touch that there. Okay. One clip here that holds that in. There's like a, a little another clip you push in and then that slides up that there just slides up so i've got that out of the way obviously take the pipe off and then the electrical connector that comes off um, and there's a torx bolt which is here where i put it 
Uh, that's the talks bit, it's like a tea, something or another. I'll find out, but yeah, I've had to soak it all because they're really tight in, so process now is chipping away and getting them all out really uh it ain't gonna be fun but it is what it is so let's start wiggling and trying to get this injector out so i'm gonna get this one out now i'm gonna unclip this wiring loom because we ordered a new wiring loom for it because it is so bad um what we've got here zoom in so we've got to get that plug off shine if you can see how bad that is we'll get that out get the pipe off yeah it's not going to be this isn't a five minute job but it's all good fun isn't it it's all good it's content for everyone to learn so yeah let's uh let's get stripping and uh see how much of it we can uh, get this off So a bit of progress, we've got the bolt out, the pipe off, the injector pipe, sorry the electrical connector, the injector pipe and the metal injector pipes out of the way as well so we're now going to chisel away as much as we can around here and try and see if we can wiggle and get that injector out, that's going to be the hardest bit. So, one, two out there, just for anyone that will say anything, if I do, there we go, nothing will go in that. So, two injectors out, just patience and clearing it and chipping away at it, soaking it in mech oil, we use a freeze spray which that helps a lot as well. So I'm going to put a cover over this, plastic light seat cover, cover, cover it all up. But yeah, it's a bit of a pain. There you go. So we've got two injectors out. Uh, well, it was a pain. But you look at our job and you know it's not going to be an easy job, is it? So it is what it is. Um, so what we've done today, we had the steering arm um, on all up the column all taken off and done that a uh, few things we need for that uh, t30 for the bolts i think it's t30 for the bolts on the floor you'll need um 17 and 16 mil for take the actual uj's off cab bar that's and obviously dash panels i think they're like 220 and then for the injectors uh t35 t40 and just a lot of determination so i will be carrying on doing this i'll be filming as much as i can of it uh, i hope you've enjoyed the video let me know if you've had any more of these whether it's been as bad as these but if not i hope i can hear from you soon if you haven't already if you could like comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll get to see you in the next one